Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before we get started, I'm going to say your customary blessings. Blessed art thou, Lord, our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us, who grows ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Lord, our God, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouths, and in the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we and our offspring, we and our offspring and the offspring of your people, the house of Israel, may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Lord, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Lord, our God, King of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Lord, giver of the Torah. May the Lord bless you and keep watch over you. May the Lord make his presence to enlighten you. May be kind to you. May the Lord bestow favor on you and grant you peace. This one is... One Kings two one through twelve. When David's time drew near, he commanded Solomon his son, saying, "I am about to go the way of all the earth. Be strong and show yourself a man, and keep the charge of Yahweh, your Elohim, walking in His ways and keeping His statutes, His commandments, His rules, and His testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that you may prosper in all that you do and." wherever you turn, that Yahweh may establish his word that he spoke concerning me, saying, If your sons pay close attention to their ways, to walk before me in faithfulness, with all their heart and with all their soul, you shall not lack a man on the throne of Israel. Moreover, you also know that Job, the son of Zerul, know what Joab, the son of Zerul, did to me, how he dwelt with the two commanders of the armies of Israel, Abner, the son of Ner, and Amasa, the son of Jether, whom he killed, avenging in time of peace for blood that had been shed in war, and putting the blood of war on the belt around his waist, and on the sandals on his feet. Act therefore according to your wisdom, but do not let his gray head go down, to Sheol in peace. But deal loyally with sons of Brazilia, Barzilia, Barzai. I'm horrible with names. The G Gileadite. And let them be among those who eat at your table. For with such loyalty they met me when I fled from. Absalom, your brother. And there is also with you Shemai, the son of Gera, the Benjaminite, from Burhurum, who cursed me with a grievous curse on the day when I met Mahanamai. When I went to Mahanai, but when he came down to meet me at Jordan, I swore to him, saying, Yahweh, saying, I will not put you to death with the sword. Now, therefore, do not hold him guiltless, for you are a wise man. You will know what you ought to do to him, and you shall bring his gray head down with blood to Sheol. <clears throat> then David slept with his fathers, and he was buried in the city of David. In the time that David reigned over Israel was forty years. He reigned seventy years in Hebron and thirty years in Jerusalem. So Solomon sat on the throne of David his father, and his kingdom was firmly established. Blessed art thou, Lord our God, King of the universe, who gave us the Torah of truth instead of everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, O Lord, giver of the Torah. Burkata Adonai Elohenu Malakalom, Asher, Natan Lenu, Termet. Baishe Olum Nata Batakinu Brukata Donai Natin Ha Torah.